All right, so let's talk a little bit about uh, balanced versus unbalanced transmission. So this is something that we talk about commonly in audio transmission, but it applies to all transmission. So it's unbalanced, unbalanced versus balanced. So unbalanced versus balanced. And again, typically for audio. So let's get started with uh, our discussion with understanding an unbalanced transmission line. An unbalanced transmission line is what you typically see in consumer audio equipment. So your home stereo, for example. So there's a, uh, a transmission line, and we have an input reference to ground, and then we have an output. So that is my, that is my amplified output right here. So that's my input, input, and here's my output, output. And that's the uh, schematic representation for an amplifier. So any input voltage I put here, a small input voltage here, is going to give me a big output. So for example, if I put in a little sine wave that look like that, perhaps I'm going to get out something that looks like this, right? It's a lot bigger. Well, there's a little problem with a unbalanced transmission line. As I said, if I put in a put in a voltage on the uh, input, so if I have some voltage coming in here, and it's going to give me a large output here, what happens if I have noise? So here's some noise. Well, the noise is going to appear on my output, and you're commonly going to have noise inside. Um, most equipment because we live in a noisy world. There's 60 hertz lights, for example, that are uh, emitting electromagnetic radiation. And if you have a big amplifier here and you are amplifying it uh, a lot, you're going to have that 60 hertz hum on your output. So what do you do about that? Well, you keep your transmission lines very, uh, very short or you uh, shield them very well, but professional equipment, and certainly for long transmission lines, you want to use a balanced interface. So let's take a look at a balanced interface. So in a balanced interface, you have two inputs instead of one. So here's my amplifier. I'll draw my amplifier like this. There we go. And we have an output. So here's my output. And just like before, the other amplifier, but we'll label it a little clearer this time, we have what's called a differential amplifier. And the differential amplifier is not looking for a voltage, an input voltage, from the two inputs, A or B or plus and minus, relative to ground. It's looking for a difference in voltage between the two conductors, between the A and B conductor. Now, it doesn't matter if which wire is A and B. It's not sensitive to any sort of polarity. It's just looking for a difference between these two. So if I have the difference between the two, an input like that, then once again, I'm going to have a nice big output. Well, there's really good news about how a differential amplifier works relative to noise. So once again, let's induce some noise. Our famous 60 hertz hum from a, a nearby motor or an elevator or even a fluorescent light or a strong electric uh, device of some sort. Well, if I induce voltage on these two conductors, guess what? I'm going to I'm going to induce the same voltage in the same way on both conductors. And because they're both present the same way, the A of the plus and minus of the amplifier is going to cancel it out. In other words, if I have this on one and this on the other, because this is a minus and the other is a plus, they're going to be canceled out. And I'll have no noise on my output at all. Now, commonly, you uh, see this sort of interface, an unbalanced interface on consumer equipment. So this might be like an RCA connector, where you have a you have a conductor, and then you have a shield around the conductor, and that shield is ground, and your conductor is your input. And similarly, in a, in a uh, uh, balanced interface, once again, you typically have a shield 
was a good idea still to shield that, but now I've got two conductors. So I have my, my A and B, and my shield is connected to ground. And this sort of interface is typically presented on what's called an XLR connector. Now, the XLR connector isn't, uh, doesn't really care, uh, as we discussed before, which pin is A and B. Uh, it does care, of course, that A and B aren't uh, swapped with uh, the pin that it expects to be ground. So that's a brief introduction to uh, audio uh, transmission and the difference between balanced and unbalanced. And this uh, presentation has been recorded with Discover Video DVME, Discover Video Multimedia Encoder. Thanks.